Some of you have trouble using laser for marking on aluminum. Here's a one millimeter piece of aluminum. Um, this here on the right is the dry erase marker. You can see it left a slight impression. But I'm trying to get something more like this. This is an acid solution process. Basically, you pour acid on the parts that don't have any paint. So I went ahead and sprayed this thing with some Rust-Oleum. I didn't do a very good coating on it. And you'll see what happens uh, if you don't have a good coating. I burned off the letter with the laser. And I start to applying the muriatic acid or swimming pool acid if you're at the hardware store. You'll see how it starts to slowly react in the beginning and uh, it starts to finally grab hold after it creates some texture and then it allows the rest of the fluid to kind of dig into the metal that started etching and it'll start speeding up the process as you go. I'm barely putting any pressure on this little foamy piece that I'm using and you do want to be careful. Uh, you'll notice there's some drops of acid on the non-painted side just to the red. Those will show up later if you're not careful. So I would recommend painting the entire area. Um, that way you don't get any stray acid on other parts of the aluminum that you'll end up buffing off later. You're going to see it starts to get more foamy again as it digs into the aluminum. And wherever you did not get paint, or if it's a very light coating of paint, you will see those little spots show up. So on the fine lines inside of that letter D, I will have some missing aluminum from where the acid ate through the little specks or stipulation of the paint spray. So here I'm wiping off the Rust-Oleum with some acetone. You're going to start to see the aluminum that was polished. Uh, it's going to have a shinier look to it, whereas the areas that had acid applied are going to have a little more dull, uh, non-shiny look to it. It kind of creates like a white color. So here it is with uh, some of the different angles. As usual, I like to run over my items that are metal with some polish. This should give you an idea how it responds as far as the acid etch portion. So here it is in all its glory. Now definitely not as high polish as I normally do, but I'm just trying to give you an idea just show you the whitish tint that it creates um, on the highlights. But guess what's next? I'm going to show you a dark marking. And this is created with a zinc spray. So you spray this thing with some zinc it. Let your laser do its business. And you'll notice it has kind of a muddy look to it as it's doing the laser. I'm treating this as though it is engraving. So I go at 300 speed, 100% power, and I'm going to show you an up close here so you get an idea of the texture that it created during that lasering process. Now again, this is a one inch letter and I'm super zoomed in. Wipe the stuff off with acetone, and you're going to see your darkish, kind of a charcoal tone to the uh, zinc etching or marking. So again, this is the zinc side, and it is more of a top surface etching or marking. I could probably sand it off over time with some sandpaper. Uh, 
Again, there are some slight streaking. You could probably adjust the line interval spacing. I had it at 0 0.06. And then up here again is the acid etch version, which is definitely a deeper uh, etching. Um, it would take a lot more effort to get the acid etch version off of that aluminum, uh, at which point you're actually removing aluminum and thinning it out. And of course, I always touch up my metals with some polish, so I want you to see the durability of each one. This is the Ultra Cut compound, so this is one of their highest uh, compounds for Meguiar's. And you can see the blackness coming off, which is the aluminum that's being polished and getting a more of a mirror shine to it. So both of them are holding up well. Again, the acid version is going to dig in a lot more, and you do have to be more careful with it. But if you're looking for two different types of uh, colorings, uh, your customer wants that deep look compared to a more topical look. This is something you could play with. CRC Zinc It on the charcoal version, topical, and muriatic acid or swimming pool acid for the acid etch version. As always, get out there and try some stuff. And thanks for watching.